Musselburgh today to the River Esk and it's where the mouth of the river is. It looks like there's a family of swans just under that bridge over there. So we're going to have a wee look before we start. Hopefully the mother swan doesn't get worried with these signets here. And come bothering me for when I go metal detecting. Or hopefully I don't annoy the swan, put it that way. It's quite picturesque, so I'm looking forward to digging up here, doing a wee search, see what we can find. So join me, see what we can get. And hopefully that swan doesn't come. Okay, let's go searching. I'm just using my scraping tool today. And in this hole, I just got that wee spoon bowl. I don't think it's anything exciting. But it's a start. Just scrape this hole out and let me see it. Probably just a 10p. Yep. A little old decimal 10p. It's bendable though. We'll take that. And would you credit, there's a hole for the 10p, and there's a hole, and I just scraped that out. And it looks like he pwned a coin. Yep, a pound coin, more spendables. So that's magic, we'll have that. A lovely pwned coin. Now I don't know if this constitutes the T2 challenge, but the C is behind me. This is the mouth of the River S going towards the sea. So maybe, maybe part of the T2 challenge. But we'll carry on and see what we can find. And I might even bring out the Garrett Euroace, which I've put a new coil on and just try that out as well. But it's a nice day. Let's go and dig. Next finds an old penny. Seen better days. It's been cut. We're finding stuff, as usual. I don't know uh, the origins of the riding of the marches, but it's on tomorrow. Before I came, I knew that the riding of the marches was this weekend. It happens every 21 years, and this is a short rehearsal for the weekend procession. I don't know if I'm going to manage this, but I'm going to attempt a uh, live dig here. It's a good signal, so here goes. It's quite near the surface, I think, so... Early time with that. Uh, Three straight. Round about here. So, let us see. Oh, there it is. My goodness, it's a blooming tent ring. There we go. And you can probably hear some guards over there. Something to do with the riding of the marches, I believe. Probably yeomanry. Oh, they're archers. I think that's the archers that the Queen has at Holyrood Palace. The tent canvas ring was there. I dug this hole and out popped this fella. It's a petrol cap for a machine. E124. Well, it might be off an old tank or petrol can. God, it's hard digging here. We're finding stuff. 
Got a nice wee uh, surface signal here and I dug up this. I don't know what it is. If anybody's got any ideas, let me know. It's made of copper. It's attached to something. Could be it's a sheath guard or something. It's got a definite form and shape to it. So yeah, we'll carry on and see what else we can find. The next one I'll do a live dig for you. Okay, here's a live dig for you, as promised. Should be quite close to the surface. He says hopefully. Quite a jumpy signal. Let's see if we can find it. And there. Would you believe it? Another tent ring thingy bobber. Oh well, carry on. Not scraped out this hole and it's in here somewhere. Oh, what do I have here? Oh, that's very interesting. Look at that. Let's pull it out together. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's nice. That is a nice badge. Might be off a steering wheel or something. SMT driver. Oh no, it's a cat badge. Cat badge. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Fine. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Oh, that's really good. Okay, I'll clean that up and I'll show you in the roundup. Excellent. Time for a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm pleased with that. That's really nice. Beautiful. Going to attempt to do another live dig for you. So let's see what we have. Is there anything? The beauty of the gold. Everybody says that. Maybe it's a bit of gold, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just another tent ring. So it should be in here. Somewhere. See? A bit of aluminium. A bit of aluminium. No. So that's me ready to go home. Uh, finished for the day. It's about six o'clock, and I'm getting a bit hungry. So let's see what we found. So let's do a roundup. Well, as usual, we get our general rubbish bag, as we expect. Quite a bit. I emptied some out earlier and you saw the big petrol cap thing found another one for an oil can but aluminium this is just the the more interesting stuff two doorknobs the spoon you saw that earlier wee bits and bobs these tent or canvas rings Quite a few of them I got. Uh, clay marble, brass ring off of something, be a bit of a buckle. Shame the rest of it wasn't there. 
and this I think is off a buckle as well. Um, this was that strap end or whatever it is. If anybody knows what any of these things are, please uh, let me know in the comments. But that's an unusual little thing. It looks as if it was connected to the end of a sheath or something. But maybe not. There was a piece of a tom back button. Got a nice design on that side. Um, I got part of a whistle. Looks nice when you see it like that. An Acme Thunderer. Looks nice. When you hold it like that, it looks complete, but it's not. And we got this crazy car. I do not know what it is. If MD's any ideas, please let me know. There's like wee seats inside it or something. It's totally toast, but it's not got any wheels. Strange. I think it might be a lighter. It's really heavy. There's a hinge on this side. But it must have been taken after something. Got a number plate, and lights. But that was a strange, unusual find. You don't normally get something like that. Somebody's car keys in the river. Some other wee bits of copper. Don't know what that is either. If anybody knows what any of these are, let me know. This thing here, I think it's part of a light fitting. Yeah, an interesting day, and the pièce de résistance are these two fellas, the SMT driver's badge, Scottish Midland Transport Company, and it's still got the fixings on the back. So that's a really good find, and then we got the little part of a brooch or a buckle or something. I'd say it was Art Deco. Really nicely decorated. This was just an eyes only. So, it just goes to show. A nice piece. There should have been wee stones in there, but they've obviously fell out. So that's me done for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a quite a nice day quite tiring though I'm ready for going home and I'll get my dinner and hopefully you can join me in my next video I've got a couple that I've already edited so hopefully you'll come and join me on them if you enjoyed the videos please remember to subscribe down here um, if you liked it put a like and I hope to see you on the next one take care and watch yourself out there. Remember, every day is a digging day. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you again. Dog's barking at me. I better go. Okay, bye for now.